Oh yeah, what up world? It's your boy Rizob, I'm back. Bringing you a gameplay. With an LMG? The fuck is that? Yeah, yeah buddy. It's that LMG using that MG36 with a grip and red dot. Dope setup. Very dope setup. About to go Rambo right now on some... Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh shit. Hey, that boing. Yeah, that's the same time it makes. Bing. What you should do in the head. But anyway, um, trying to creep around, take the B flag, because I know there's somebody close by. I can just feel it. You know, sometimes you sense that shit. And I'm gonna like, move up, shoot my own C4 like an idiot. And I got hit, so I'm thinking that I'm not thinking the guy's above us. I'm thinking he's down there by the stick, is on the opposite side of B. But anyway, falling down, you take a shot, and you're done. And I was supposed to too, too. But. Um, we take me, and it's 4.40 Sunday morning, I passed out last night, I need to record this earlier, or make a drink, that was my chair by the way, you guys hear that, um, here we go, about to have some Bacardi Gold, Pepsi, that camper in his head because that's the dude that was camping on me and whoever else was trying to cat B. We cat B, but like, why are you still there camping? Burn your fucking tent down. This dude gets hit up with a C4, and that's the same dude that I just destroyed his campsite. So, make this drink right quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna be good going down. Pause. So, as I'm making this drink. One of the best setups for the LMG for me, probably for a lot of you guys if you need to think about using LMGs, going to be, I call it, be as fast and light as possible, even though, you know, your, your setup is heavy because of the LMG. So a slider hand so you can reload quicker. Doesn't matter how big your magazine is, you're reloading quick with the LMG to help you out no matter what. Um, quick draw so you can aim faster and stalker so you can move faster while aiming. Very quick setup. You will feel the difference, but you will also feel the difference if you have the speed proficiency of grip. Because the iron sights on the MG36 is pretty decent. And right before I prestige, my uh, PBR was acting up. You know, I really wanted to slap that bitch. But I said, fuck it, let me see if theater mode holds it down for me. And of course, you know, theater mode is a big fail. So I went in first with a specialist package. Great, all proficiency, all perks. Then the second gameplay was using, like I said, grip, iron sight, grip, um, speed proficiency. And then I was like, oh, this shit is hot. I'm gonna keep using it, but then I just prestige and like, fuck it. So I'm about to take this sip. Cheers. Oh, shout out to Special Light who just signed on. Even though this is not a live commentary, I don't give a shit. That's my ninja. Good look on that Facebook post, homie. Holla at you, boy. Um, running around with a couple of usual suspects. Uh, as you guys already know. Yo, soul. For real, yo. Download that Skype, nigga, so we can do that dual commentary on your on Moab that you got. Matter of fact, on the same board. But... We go back and forth with the enemy team. Four of us, you know, five random, and the other team is just running around doing laps. We lose a flag, we cap a flag. We lose a flag, we cap a flag. About to hop in that ass clap. But, um, I would like to say that um, manual air support on this map is kind of crazy because the Reaper and the AC-130 are much higher. And I had posted a comment on, I think it was Elf Scrolls or Mark and Jay's channel, just saying that the developers might have done it on purpose. So, not for you to be nerfed or anything like that, it's just that you're in an environment where there's a lot of high rises. It's not like you're a village and you're a little lower to the ground. There are no high rises. So, being like you are in an area with high rises. You have to shoot from a higher distance and try to, like, you know, have a better shot with the ass clapper or with the reaper. Doesn't really matter. I mean, I get a couple of kills here and there trying to defend flags, trying to 
tell my teammates, yo, they're here, they're there, go get them, go trap them. Securing Charlie. But, um, it works a little bit. But, you know, I'm trying to help my Friendly team win. Is on the floor, but get that Sam turret out of here. Let me put Sam turret with your support class trying to take Charlie my shit secure. out. And, you know, anybody that I Friendly run with, yo, guys, if you hear them say, hey, you got a Sam turret, just go look for it first before you call out your own air support, man. Because one. You guys are hopping in, you know, your air support, or if you're calling air support, the first thing I try to do is help my teammates. It's all about the win, baby. We gotta get that W. I try to go find that sand turret no matter what, even if I gotta raid the spawn, because, you know, usually enemy teammates put the sand turret in the back somewhere. So I knew that that guy was there, so I saw him later real quick. LMG, baby. Just let it, let it spray and pray, as the Patriot Tony would say. Spray and pray. Uh, big, tremendous, thank you, shout out. Predator missile ready for launch. My lady and my sponsor. Thank you so much. DJ Lex, thank you so much. Her brother, her parents, Securing for blessing me with a super dope Heads mic up, setup for Christmas. Oh, man, man. Yo. This mic, this is studio mic, guys. I have a nice M audio track mixer. I have two monitor speakers that I haven't even set up yet because I don't even know where to put these shits. I don't have like an official tissue setup. My shit is just like I play in the living room. I edit videos in the office that we have. I mean, that's just how it goes. I don't have like my TV or a monitor connected to my PS3. Shout out to That's My Kill NYC. That's my dude, yo. He be getting it in. Um. Yeah, I don't have a super dope setup where everything is together, but I, you know, I, I can tell that like, I'm really shit. It's just that I'm putting in the work, and they're on board. And shout out to everybody that's on board with me that knows that I'm trying to do this for real. Thank you guys, and you ladies really appreciate the support. Anyway, back to the Pan and Terry. There's a Pan and Terry taking out Sam Terry to a great bear. So I can hop in my ass clapper again and shoot off. Prematurely shoot off that ass clapper. And I continuously do that shit. Like an idiot. Every time I hop out the reaper, I hop in the ass clapper. I shoot that shit quick. And you know, she's like, damn, you shoot that shit so fast. And I'm like, hey, can't handle it, y'all. Shit's too much booty for me. Nah, I'm kidding. Man. Just um, what I wanted to quickly talk about was this map. Just real quick, I already touched the air support and how high up you are, but I do want to say that in Friendly Vegas, this inbound. map is a little difficult for me because I'm not Security a pro B. at editing or anything like that. I really try to just learn on my own. The map is very dusty, literally dusty. You know, if you guys use the word dusty in another way, like I do or some of my people do, you know what I'm talking about. It's literally dusty. So to make the color in this video even better, it was very difficult to do. As I killed that dark corner McDougal, like Quickie Strapper would say, and take his fucking juggernaut, give me that shit, because I don't do juggernaut. I just steal it, or I get it gifted to me by my teammate. Yo, we'll take that. I have to look for that. Because it's too slow for me, but it's a whole lot of fun to you. Back to what I was talking about. The developer did a excellent job. I mean, I know people hate this map, the way it is developed totally, how the spawns are, how the color is, how the enemy team blend in with the surroundings, but think about it, that's how it's supposed to be. If you guys see the video, if you guys were in NYC like I was, and my friends were, and my family were, when 9 11 happened, you can tell that they went in on the development of this map, because when the twins were down, there was so much dust everywhere that it looked exactly like this. Everything just had that white powder, asbestos dust on it. Cars, trucks, streets, everything was just dust. That dust cloud didn't leave for like a month and shit. It was, it was crazy. They, they knew what they were doing when they developed this map. There's very little color in this map. Good job. Um, you see, you took the lead on these moves. 
even though they were trying real hard not to lose, which is cool because it makes it competitive. It makes them better. It makes me better. If people are just sitting in fucking corners, it don't matter if you have the sash or blind man. You're running around, do your thing. But it's your boy Rizov, and I appreciate you guys checking out my channel. Peace out.